I just got in some of these medium treehouse arboreal enclosures from Tarantula Cribs, and I need to rehouse my jumping spiders. So let's get to work. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard, and if you enjoy videos like this, make sure you hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe while you're down there. I've got five different jumping spiders, and they're two different species, and they, they need new homes. I currently am keeping them in these little acrylic AMAC boxes, and it's working out fine, but they're, they're starting to get a little larger. They need more room. And these just, they're just not an ideal enclosure for the size that they're at. I just don't feel like they have enough room to run around and jump and all that fun stuff. So I want to get them into these enclosures. And these tarantula cribs enclosures are much easier to work with as far as misting the enclosure so they have something to drink and feeding them. I'm really just getting irritated with trying to open up these AMAC boxes and spray some water in there. It's, it's just going to be a lot easier and it's going to look a lot better if I put them in these treehouse enclosures. So hopefully this goes smoothly. I've got my, uh, my Mac camera here set up ready to take some pictures so hopefully we get some good pictures as well uh, but there's really not much else to do but jump into it and we're gonna start off with my male Phytopus regius or the uh, regal jumping spider I already put in some substrate it's just jungle mix and I've got a lot of different pieces of cork bark that we're gonna lean up against the side so it has somewhere to hide and make its webbing and other than that I'm just gonna throw in some moss and leaves mainly just for aesthetic purposes and then move these spiders in Now let's move in the spider. Where is it? All right. All right, that's enough photos. Up next, we've got another Phytopus Rigius. Regius, however you say it. This is a uh, female. She's not as large as my other female, but that large female is already in one of these tarantula cribs enclosures. So let's go ahead and, oh, looks like she molted recently. So she might be a little bit bigger than I think. Up next is my Phytopus claris. She is a brilliant jumping spider and these are very quick. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to get a picture of her. Oh, first I need to build the enclosure. She jumped in her enclosure, daggone it. And just in case you weren't aware, if you wanna get yourself one of these tarantula crib enclosures or really any of the enclosures that are at tarantulacribs.com, just use the code TCollective10 at checkout. It's gonna save you 10% off your entire order. Up until recently, they've only been shipping within the United States. It's a lot more expensive to ship to other countries, but I do believe they have that option available now. So check them out online, the tarantulacribs.com. Use the code TCollective10. It is an affiliate link. It's not gonna cost you anything extra. In fact, it'll save 10%, but a small percentage of any sales does come back to help support the channel. So you're getting yourself a new enclosure and you're helping support the Tarantula Collective. It's a win-win, right? <laughs> now let's rehouse the Phytopus Claris male. Oh, he's eating a cricket right now. So sorry to disturb you, buddy. Maybe he'll come out and let us get a few pictures of you. Get a couple pictures. This is a crazy, this is a crazy setup, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah, 
I'm digging this. All right, I think I got a couple good pictures. Let's uh, get it moved in. And finally, we've got a unlabeled enclosure. I think this is my other Phidippus Regius male trench. In fact, I know it is. It's the male regal jumping spider. He's fine in this enclosure actually, but I've got the treehouse enclosure and it, I've got them all set up on one shelf. I just think it's gonna look a lot nicer. Now, these enclosures are great for any arboreal tarantula, but these medium treehouse enclosures, these arboreal ones, they're not the largest ones. This size in particular seems to be perfect for jumping spiders. So if you have a full grown adult, you know, they may enjoy that large enclosure. I mean, I'm not a jumping spider, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna try and get a few pictures of him as well. Don't run. Oh, off to the races. Oh, don't run into your enclosure yet, buddy. And he's in his enclosure. <laughs> well, at least I was able to get a few photos. Now, if you're wondering, this is a, this is my Lumix G9 Micro Four Thirds camera with an Olympus 60 millimeter macro lens. And then I've got uh, what's supposed to be a Laowa twin macro flash, but it's actually Kakos macro twin light K808. I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, and then I just used, this is actually the packaging material that these uh, in, these enclosures were shipped in. Kind of keeps them from getting scratched, but it also works really well for a flash diffuser. So I just kind of taped them on to diffuse the, the actual strobe light or the flashlight. I saved all of the packaging material and I'm gonna build a nice little diffuser for it, but you know, we'll have to do that later. For now, let's go ahead and get this guy on the shelf and then I'll show you what they look like all nice and neat on, the, uh, on this top shelf up here. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more jumping spider content, just click this video right here. And if you want to learn more about the cameras I use making these videos, just click this video right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Click that like button if you like jumping spiders, and I will see you next time. <laughs>